Thank you, Stefan, for the introduction words. So as Stefan already said, my name is Alexander Eimendinger. I'm the head of the European Certification Task Lab. And that is why I'm today giving you a short update about the certification program or more especially about the compliance test tool, the so-called CTT, but also a very lovely topic of mine, which is the OPC product catalog, which in the future is going to be called OPC Marketplace. So I know I'm the last speaker for this session and you probably want to get something to eat. So I'm not going to waste your time, but let's get started. So as said, the certification update today will be about the compliance test tool. And with the latest release of the compliance test tool, we introduced two major new features. One of them is the import of companion specification test scripts. And the idea here is to pull out the test cases of all those different companion specifications that you're not ending up with a very long list of um, test cases that you're probably not interested in. So instead, we are provi providing import files that you can use to um, extend the tests inside the compliance test tool to match what you integrated into your product. The way this is working is with a simple import wizard, which you'll find in the project menu on the import companion specification tests. And that will provide you the option to either import the conformance units, conformance groups, and all tests scripts or import the profiles or simply both of them, which would be the normal case. After you've done that, what you will find is that the conformance units list will now show all the different conformance units that are included in that file, as well as in the profiles tab, you have all the different profiles and facets that are defined. With that, it is now very simple to select what you introduced into your product and what is working fine and which uh, features you want to test. So those companion specification task scripts are actually nothing new. The MDIS group, for example, uh, which is a companion specification from the oil and gas industry, already got their test scripts implemented like three years ago. So they were very fast in getting automated testing going because it is very important in the industry. Another group, the PLC Open group, also already have the test scripts integrated in the CTT and being shipped with every installation. The PA DIM is a set of test scripts, which just recently has been added because we wanted to have an easy way of testing PA DIM enabled products for being integrated into a dashboard for a live demonstration at a trade show. So, those are the ones that are already available either on request or natively shipped with the CTT, but there are also a lot more that are already under development. So for example, machine tools, they had the same approach a few years ago where they wanted to make sure that the integration of the machines into a dashboard for a demonstrator at a trade show is simple and easy. So that is how their test group started. Today, they already have defined set of test cases as well as developed test scripts ready so um, there's just like in the final phase to get everything prepared. And then all the vendors can verify the machine tool implementation um, with the compliance test tool. Another group also already started um, with the process is IOLink. And for them, they actually not just testing information model pieces, but also the whole mapping to IOLink and the behavior of, for example, an IOLink master. Last but not least, also already under development is a group called DEXB. And DEXB is once again something from the process um, industry. So you see that uh, with three of those groups being from the process industry, the process industry is currently a hot topic for OPC UA, where there's a lot of push, and that is why we are also focusing on that. But enough of the companion specification task scripts. Let's go to the other topic. So the other major feature we introduced is alarm and condition testing, so ANC. On the left-hand side, you see that we already cover a whole bunch of conformance units, which are already released with the CTT version that you can already test your product with. And we are already working on the next set. The reason why this has become a higher priority is because 
there, it is being integrated in a lot of products right now, also in devices, and we want to make sure that you have everything you need to verify this implementation. But you need to know that the way that we are testing alarms is slightly different than other tests. So those test cases and scripts are designed for real-world products. So we don't expect to write values to trigger alarms because for a temperature sensor, it is unlikely that we can actually write to the temperature value, right? So the beauty of that is because we're just listening for alarms, there's no configuration needed, at least not for the conformance unit that are currently shipped. There will be some minor configurations needed for the following set of conformance units. And the way this works right now is that we basically listen for an alarm. And once we've received it, we will check the alarm details. Are all fields present that we are looking for? Is everything provided that we need? But then as a next step, are walking through the state machine and making sure that everything that we should be able to do with this alarm, like acknowledging, like providing a comment, like confirming it, is possible to do with the server. So this is everything that we have as news for the compliance test tool, which gets me to my next topic, the product catalog. Now, the way that the product catalog is used today is that we have two different lists. One where you will find all the products that are in the catalog and one different list where you will only find certified products. A product definition right now has just some minor set of information like a title, URL, product image, some descriptions, but also the OPC certificate information. So everything that is about compliance. And that is exactly the reason why I'm talking about this today, because it is very much related to certification um, and as important for us as for the end users. And all of that was very valid when the product catalog has been designed, but now we just receive some more demands from the end users on this behalf. And that is basically our motivation to update it. So end users are seeking for a way to find OPC UA enabled products where they really can gather uh, product details, which are just about OPC UA. So they're not looking for um, cycle times and PLCs, for example, but they want to search for a specific PL, um, OPC UA feature, which is supported in a PLC, but also quality information about that OPC UA integration. And in order to make all of that easy, of course, there should be a common way to display this kind of information, because otherwise it will just be difficult to compare and look at all these details. But also the vendors are seeking for something like that. They are seeking for a way to um, provide the OPC UA related product information as well as highlighting new features. And that is where the new product catalog is basically stepping in. And I am very happy that I can already show you a short tease about that upcoming marketplace. So what you see here is that we are enhancing everything to make it smoother for the user of the marketplace to find the products they're looking for. So you will have additional set of information. We introduced, for example, categories and subcategories to get an easy overview over the products, but also filters for all of that. So you can filter for um, a PLC, you can filter for an Ultra ID device or a SDK or whatever. You can even filter for certain markets. And those are just uh, easy, understandable filters. Of course, we are also having uh, more technical filters, which I'm going to talk about later on. But for now, let's focus on what we see here. So what you see is you have a list of products of our board members that are part of the product catalog with some additional information. And that is exactly um, the way that we, you're going to look at it later on. So you will find quality information, like whether a product has attended an IOP and has been tested there for being interoperable with other devices and how many times this has been done. So for example, just once, like at least four or five times or never. Same is for the certification information. So what you see here is how often the product has been certified. 
whether there is currently a valid certification, whether the certification has expired, or whether it has never gone through certification. And all of that is intended to provide you a good overview over the product and exactly provide that set of information that the end users um, are looking for. Now to extend that and make it easy for the user of the marketplace is that you can in this exact table can basically expand the view and get more information. Information like the latest certification information, but also the exact profiles which are supported by that product. You'll get information like the UA capacities. That means what is the maximum number of monitored items that are supported, um, but also quality information, not just about certification, but like I said, also about interoperability workshops. How many have been attended? When have they been attended? So all of that is intended to provide the user of the marketplace a good overview over the OPC UA um, features that are supported as well as the OPC quality. Now, we actually even thinking about extending all of that with listing possible communication partners. And the way that this is intended to work is that we will do a, a match of the other side of the communication. So that means if you're currently looking at an OPC UA server, which supports not just data access, but also alarms, then what you will find down there is a OPC UA client, which exactly provides the same set of features. So where you not can only look for um, the data values, the process data, but you can also see the alarms coming in that being issued from the server so that you have the highest uh, percentage of coverage of the features. Like I already pointed out, the marketplace will come with a lot of filter mechanisms because that is exactly what everybody is looking for. So what I did here is I um, established filters for an OPC UA server. I wanted to, it to support an address space lookup, but also historical access. And that now shrinks it down to one entry, which is um, the C++ SDK of unified automation, which exactly provides me this kind of information. And um, yeah, provides me all the different products here. So like I said, the whole product list is intended to provide you a easy list that you can now go through and evaluate every product to make sure that all the other product aspects are also meeting your criteria. As I already pointed out, those are not the only set of filters. So those were just the easy to understand filters, which provides you a good overview. But we also understand that there are people having the necessity to look for an exact profile and facet match. So for doing that, we will also provide the capability for filtering with more technical filters. That basically means that you can now add to your current filter set a very specific facet, for example, the auditing server facet. And with this, you will now in addition to all the other filters that you already have selected, we'll um, get even a shorter list. So with this, we make sure that people like purchasing departments or people that want to look on possible products from the market that they could use in the system, that they can go with the exact requirement into that marketplace and find what they're looking for. And another thing, that you see here is of course also a different display in case that you're not interested in a table view or a list view uh, where you can select your own columns. You're probably just interested in getting a nice overview over the uh, products in the marketplace. And this is exactly what we provide here. So I hope that you are as excited about that new product uh, catalog or in the future called marketplace than I am and that you're looking forward to um, get this, all of this established. So if you have any questions about that or the compliance test tool, or you have some feedback for us, please do not hesitate, send, that, uh, send your feedback to me, and I'm very happy to hear from you after the session.